Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Persona 6, everything we know so far and the possibility of the release window slash date being announced this year. Now, for those who don't know, Persona 5 Royal, or Persona 5 in general, is my favourite video game of all time. I simply think it's a perfect masterpiece in art, music and game design. I also think that Persona 5 is the most popular JRPG of all time in terms of reaching global attention. I think the only game to come close is probably Final Fantasy 7. And personally with Joker in Smash Bros and the success of the original, um, is proof that in my opinion that just Persona 5 is just an amazing JRPG and because of this I think Atlas would be stupid not to release a new entry in the series over five years after Persona 5 originally released. In the gap between 2017 and now we've had Persona 5, Persona 5 Royal, The Dancing Games, Arena Ultimax Remaster and a Persona port on Steam being Persona 4 Golden as well as Persona 3, 4 and 5 ports on Switch, I'd love to see a long awaited Persona 6. I'm really shocked we haven't had any Switch ports yet, but I'm really hoping that Persona 6 also comes to Switch. In modern day gaming, when companies find a money making success, they usually rush out to release the next entry in the series as fast as possible, regardless of quality or staff morale. However, Japanese developers, mainly Atlas, Nintendo and many others for the most part, like to carefully craft their games making sure that they aren't released until they're actually finished and well polished. As of yet we know Atlas are working on Persona 6, this is pretty much confirmed. Again, I, after the success of 5 and how well that came out and did and sold, I'd be shocked if we didn't get Persona 6, but we currently don't know when it will release. I imagine as well that Persona 6 will most likely release first in Japan, with a western release maybe a year or six months down the line. My hope is that we either get a simultaneous release worldwide due to the success of the Persona series in the west, but if we look at the release timeline of past games we can see that Persona 3 released in 2006 in Japan, Persona 4 released in 2008, Golden released in 2012. Persona 5 then released in 2016, and Royal was then released in 2019, obviously then in 2020 in the West. Using all of this knowledge and Atlas's track record with spin-offs, being the fighting games, the dancing games, Morgana's Kart Racer, I don't know, whatever they'll announce going forward, I predict that Persona 6 will be announced this year with a possible 2023 or early 2024 release date. Now I know that's miles off but I think this is possible. Don't believe me? Well, this year is also the 25th anniversary of the series, with events going from all the way from 2021 all the way through to the end of 2022 this year. So far, as per of these announcements, we've had merchandise, vinyl soundtracks, the Arena Ultimax remaster and slightly more things like wallpapers and digital things. But Atlas and Sega have also released the following artwork on screen right now, ahead of their upcoming Persona 25th Fez event, scheduled for the 28th of May 2022. Much like with any good viral marketing, this image is great su uh, suspect for interpretation and really digging deep to see what we can find. With the 25th anniversary event, we also know that they're teasing two more announcements this year, one being in May and one being in September, and I personally think that in one of these events we'll have the announcement of the next mainline Persona game being Persona 6. Each Persona game also uses one colour for its marketing and in-game UI, basically being themed around one colour. Persona 5 was light blue, Persona 4 was yellow and Persona 5 was red. Most people, such as I, think that Persona 6 will use the colour green as its primary colour theming. This can also be seen in the image on screen. Each of the protagonists with paint splashes on them depending on which colour they came, sorry, which game they came from. So for example, uh, you from Persona 4 has yellow splashes with Joker, he also has red, but next to Joker we can notice two things. One, a green bucket of paint on the floor, and two, a sort of considerable amount of space. Now all of the protagonists here are sort of evenly spaced out next to each other with a huge space on the left. 
with all eyes pretty much being on Joker. Personally, I think this may tease the next game. Right now, we're two years away from Persona's last mainline release in the West, with Persona 5 Royal having launched in 2020. Obviously we had Strikers as well, but I'm talking about mainline entries in the series here. Back in July 2021 though, the Atlas director Naoto Hiraka, I'm really sorry if I misbutchered that, I'll put the name and image on screen now, very casually confirmed the existence of a new Persona game in job postings for the developer, talking about creating a number 6 which exceeds number 5. How Atlas is going to surpass their previous efforts remains to be seen, but with Persona 5 being my favourite game of all time, I'm very keen to see what they do next and I'm sure it's going to be amazing. In terms of Persona 6 though, all I hope for is that the game also comes to Xbox, Switch and PC as well as PlayStation 5 and knowing Atlas they'll probably do a PS4 release as well. In terms of gameplay really, I just want more of the same. A great turn-based combat RPG with amazing characters and half of the game being this addictive life simulator. Anyway everyone, thank you so much for watching and in terms of Persona 6 though we'll have to wait and see when they announce the game and when do you guys think the game's coming out? Personally obviously I think it's going to be announced this year and then come out 2023 in Japan and then probably either 6 months or 12 months after in the west. Anyway everyone, that's the video, if you like this video, why not press the like button and subscribe to the channel for more news on the Persona series and gaming as a whole. Anyway everyone, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye!